How did this unthinkable breakthrough transpire, seemingly under the very noses of global intelligence? The unfolding of this photonic apocalypse wasn't a sudden flash, but the culmination of years of relentless, highly classified research and development, executed with a singular focus that defied all Western expectations. This isn't just about making faster silicon, as many tech analysts were focused on. This is a fundamental paradigm shift where light is replacing electrons as the primary medium for information transfer within the chip itself. Imagine a world where data travels not through resistive wires, generating heat and facing the inherent bottlenecks of electron physics, but through photonic circuits precisely etched with lasers. This innovative approach means virtually no heat generation, negligible electrical resistance, and a complete liberation from the constraints of Moore's law, which has governed silicon's exponential growth for decades. The physical limitations that have dogged traditional semiconductor development are suddenly sidestepped. Early reports suggest that a single photonic wafer can yield approximately 5,000 AI-specific cores, each capable of literally chewing through complex GPT-7 queries like digital candy. This unprecedented processing density and efficiency mean the scale of AI applications can expand far beyond what was previously deemed feasible, pushing the boundaries of what machine intelligence can achieve. The strategic genius, or perhaps the sheer audacity, lies in the manufacturing process itself. According to highly sensitive intelligence leaks, China didn't acquire new, forbidden Western machinery. Instead, they reportedly built this entire capability in what some sources describe as secret tunnel fabs located deep beneath Shanghai. These covert facilities were engineered to operate entirely independently of ASML's EUV tools, how they reportedly leveraged and perfected deep ultraviolet lithography, a technology the U.S. and its allies had dismissed as obsolete for cutting-edge chip production. While DUV cannot etch the microscopic features of EUV, its application in photonic circuit fabrication, which uses light differently, has proven to be a strategic stroke of genius. This means China's advanced chip output has effectively gone off-grid, creating a parallel supply chain impervious to the very sanctions designed to contain it. It's a technological declaration of independence, executed with surgical precision and absolute secrecy. Beyond speed and independence, this photonic revolution addresses one of the most pressing yet often overlooked crises of our digital age, the energy madness fueled by AI. Data centers globally are estimated to waste upwards of $30 billion annually simply on cooling their silicon-based infrastructure. The sheer heat generated by millions of traditional chips operating simultaneously requires monumental cooling systems, consuming vast amounts of electricity and contributing significantly to carbon emissions. Huawei's photonic chip, by operating on light, runs far colder than any silicon counterpart, reportedly colder than a Siberian winter. This changes everything. Imagine an entire server rack capable of delivering teraflops of AI power for the approximate cost of running a single light bulb. This isn't just an incremental upgrade for data centers. It's an ecological reset for the entire tech industry, fundamentally altering the environmental footprint of advanced computing and accelerating the global transition towards sustainable technology. The ripples of this technological detonation are not confined to laboratories or boardrooms. They are radiating outwards, creating three distinct ground zeros where the very foundations of the global order are being irrevocably shaken. The most immediate and catastrophic impact is being felt by ASML. Their stock, the very symbol of Western technological supremacy, has reportedly plunged a stunning 27% in early trading. Their colossal EUV machines, once heralded as the unbeatable guardians of advanced chip manufacturing, are now, in the chilling light of the photonic breakthrough, on the verge of becoming scrap metal for this specific high-performance sector. Huawei's photonics require no lenses, no mirrors, no Dutch tech for their core functionality. This isn't just a loss of market share. It's a direct bypass of their entire business model for cutting-edge chips. Unconfirmed intelligence suggests China's audacious endgame is to control the entire photonic supply chain by 2026, solidifying their dominance in this next-generation hypercritical technology before the West can even begin to formulate a coherent response.
The semiconductor landscape is shifting beneath our feet, and ASML finds itself on the fault line. The artificial intelligence industry, currently experiencing an unprecedented boom, is now in disarray. Every major AI firm, from the established giants to the most agile startups, is reportedly rewriting their entire roadmaps. Why? The economics are undeniable. Photonic chips cut the training costs for colossal models like GPT-7 by an estimated 90%. Imagine the computational power that can be unleashed when the energy and hardware barriers are virtually eliminated. Companies like Google, Meta, and OpenAI, once reliant on Western chip manufacturers, are now allegedly begging for licenses to access Huawei's and SMIC's new technology. The long-term winner of this AI bloodless coup? Not Silicon Valley, not European research labs, but Chinese patents and the firms that hold them. The epicenter of AI innovation, previously concentrated in the West, is now under immense pressure to shift. The geopolitical repercussions are perhaps the most alarming. This technological independence signals a profound power shift. Leaked documents circulating through high-level intelligence channels reveal a staggering $300 billion in pre-orders for Huawei's photonic technology, primarily from BRICS nations like Brazil, India, and Saudi Arabia. This is more than just trade. It's a strategic realignment. The U.S. response? Sources describe it as sheer panic. NVIDIA, once the darling of Wall Street and the undisputed leader in AI acceleration, reportedly dropped 14% pre-market in the immediate aftermath of this news. Intel's ambitious plans for its new Ohio Fab, a multi-billion dollar investment intended to bolster American chip independence, are now reportedly dead on arrival, its strategic relevance severely diminished by this photonic breakthrough. We are not just entering a tech cold war. This is a new era where China has reportedly fired the decisive first shot, fundamentally altering the global technological and economic balance. If you are still with us, if your mind is reeling from the sheer magnitude of what you've just heard, then you are part of the discerning few who truly grasp the gravity of this moment. The information we're sharing is revolutionary, and it needs to reach every corner of the globe. That's why right now, we need your action. Smash that like button. It's more than just a click. It's a signal to the algorithm that this vital truth cannot be suppressed. This video is already under attack by bots attempting to bury it, to obscure the truth of this photonic paradigm shift. So, please share it now. Your timeline, your friends, your family, they need this truth. And critically, subscribe to our channel now. Right now, hit that notification bell. We are the only channel that will be bringing you confirmed SMIC factory leaks, with exclusive deep dives dropping this very Thursday. Don't be a mere spectator to this revolution. Be a revolutionary. Your engagement is not just appreciated. It is essential to ensuring this message cuts through the noise. The immediate earthquake has passed, but the aftershock from this photonic apocalypse are just beginning, setting in motion a series of cascading events that will redefine the next decade. In a desperate gambit to salvage their relevance, ASML is reportedly attempting a Hail Mary maneuver, developing hybrid photonic UV prototypes. This involves attempting to integrate photonic elements with their traditional EUV technology. However, intelligence from within the industry suggests it's already too late. Huawei's next-generation photonic chip, codenamed Phoenix, is reportedly on track to achieve an astounding 3.0 THz by Q1 2026. This aggressive timeline means ASML's research and development budget, already under immense pressure, is effectively being shredded as they chase a moving target set by a competitor no longer playing by the old rules. Their traditional dominance is not just challenged. It's being outpaced by an entirely new technological front. The economic implications for AI infrastructure are monumental. Expect to witness a massive migration of data centers towards BRICS nations. Why? The answer is simple. Cheaper photonic power with drastically reduced energy consumption and potentially lower operational costs for advanced computing. The incentive to relocate AI infrastructure to regions with readily available and affordable power and increasingly direct access to Huawei's technology will be overwhelming. Reports suggest that even Microsoft's Azure team, a titan of cloud computing, is already scouting sites in Mumbai and Johannesburg, recognizing the inevitable shift in the global AI landscape. 
This isn't just about efficiency. It's about a strategic reshuffling of where the world's most powerful computations will take place. The fallout in Washington is palpable. The Pentagon's emergency meeting, convened in the wake of this photonic revelation, reportedly concluded with two stark, unacceptable options. The first, ban photonic imports, which would effectively cripple the U.S. AI industry by denying it access to this superior, energy-efficient technology, ceding the AI race to those who embrace it. The second, surrender to Huawei by allowing their chips to enter the U.S. market, which would be a monumental blow to American technological pride and strategic independence. Either way, the consensus from within these closed-door sessions is chillingly clear. America loses. The fortress of U.S. tech dominance, built on decades of innovation and strategic control, is now confronting its most formidable challenge. This is where you speak. This is where your voice matters more than ever. The photonic apocalypse is unfolding before our eyes, and your perspective is crucial. Drop a comment below and tell us. Your insights, your predictions, and your reactions are invaluable. And speaking of what comes next, you thought the photonic revolution was the end? Think again. On the very next episode of our channel, we take you deep inside a highly secretive quantum chip lab in Hefei, China. What we uncovered there is more than just another breakthrough. We found what many are calling China's second secret weapon, a superconducting processor that reportedly makes even photonics look slow. This is the leak that could crash another trillion dollar industry. Don't be left behind. Smash that notification bell right now, or you'll miss the exclusive intel that could once again obliterate your worldview. You've just witnessed the point of no return for global technology. Huawei didn't just break ASML. They reportedly broke the very rules of reality as we understood them.